Hi, Dwayne Lesner from Nutanix Technical Marketing. We have a private cloud hosted offering by OVH Cloud up and running with all of the latest Nutanix software. And we also have our on-prem environment connected via VPN. On the on-prem side, we're running a Palo Alto. In the OVH side, we're running PFSense. And we're looking to migrate workloads now that we have our networking in place and we have some extra VLANs that we can use for migrating our virtual machines over. So let's jump in. OVH Cloud is a simple extension of your on-prem data center into the public cloud. OVH Cloud running non-modified Nutanix software allows it to use all of the Nutanix software stack so you can use the traditional protection domains which goes from prism element to prism element like cluster to cluster uh, but you can also use Nutanix DR which sits in the prism central stack so you have those both available and also OVH Cloud can provide um, backup software licensing with Veeam, um, but you could also run Haiku on your cluster and back it up. OVH Cloud can also provide its own S3 storage for backup. In our environment, which we're showcasing today, I have my on-prem in Arizona, and then we're replicating to uh, OVH Cloud data center in Quebec and Canada. So we have HV, uh, in Arizona and we're going to migrate two workloads from that cluster into our cluster in Quebec with OVH Cloud and we have two Prism Centrals. They're already uh, linked linked together. So we have AZ1 and AZ2. Um, so let's easily migrate some workloads into OVH Cloud. We're logged into our on-prem Prism Central in Phoenix, Arizona. We have well, one HV cluster attached to it. So if we look at the virtual machines, we're going to protect two virtual machines and migrate them over to OVH Cloud in Quebec, Canada. So if we go and search by filters and then by categories, we already have categories set up. The categories help us to apply policies. So we have an OVH uh, Canada a uh, key value pair, which is our category that's been assigned to these two VMs. So we have this app scan prod one and SQL server prod one. We're going to migrate these virtual machines to OVH cloud. So once you have the categories assigned, um, then you would go into the protection policy. The protection policy is simply a way to assign RPO to your workloads. So if we hit update, uh, we have our local cluster going into OVH cloud. We can edit the schedule. So here we're doing hourly snapshots. You could do near sync um, snapshots as well, but here we're just going to do one hour. And so we'll hit save, <clears throat> hit next. Um, you can see the category here that we're using. So you could add additional categories um, as well. So this is going to, once it's applied to the virtual machines, it'll start replicating, assuming that the networking is in place, which it is. So we'll just hit update. So our virtual machines are replicating from uh, Phoenix, Arizona to Quebec. And now we're going to the recovery plans. The recovery plan is just a way to provide orchestration. So if we hit update, uh, we have a name, a description, the location. So our local AZ, the local AZ is always the Prism Central that you're logged into. And we have our Prism Central in OVH Cloud. Uh, we have one category. You can add, get quite complex. So you can have multiple stages. You could also add custom scripting in. Um, but for the purpose of this demo, we're just keeping it pretty simple. So we'll just uh, keep the one stage. You can also add individual VMs. So we'll hit next. Um, here is the, the network mapping. So we have our on-prem network, and then we already have a configured our servers network that we're going to migrate our workloads in. By default, unless we're doing 
um, for want to manually do custom IP mapping, whatever the last octet is. So if we had a that one server was dot sixty, it's also going to be dot sixty in the new subnet. So this can save quite a bit of time with large migrations. But you can assign custom IPs as well. So we'll hit done. Now we always initiate failover from the destination side. So if we go into our Prism Central in OVH Cloud, we can see our cluster. And we'll uh, go into the recovery plan. So the protection policies, recovery plans, and categories all get synced in between the different Prism Centrals. So here is our policy that's been synced across. So now if we want to, we can do test failover. So we can create dummy networks and do um, test plans if we want, but we're just going to do a failover. There's planned and unplanned. Unplanned is really in the event of emergency, you would take the last snapshot that would be available in OVH Cloud. Uh, planned failover, we're going to shut down the virtual machines and take an additional snapshot. Um, so this is really the best way to do uh, migration. We do have other Nutanix software, uh, Nutanix Move, which can also be used for migrations. So our failover is initiated. Now, once it's running, we can actually go into the plan itself and see all of the steps. So if we go into tasks, <coughs> failover. So the validation plan, the migrating part of the plan is where it's just shutting down the virtual machines and snapshotting them. And then it will take the, uh, the last replication. So any deltas that may have occurred. So our virtual machines have started to power on. So that means the rep final replication, they quickly power on and our virtual machines have been migrated over. So we can take a look at our virtual machines now on the OVH Prism Central. And so we have our AppScan prod and our SQL prod server. So dot 60, it retained the last octet and same with our prod server, so they've both been moved across. Nutanix and OVH Cloud make infrastructure easy. Nutanix administrators can use existing technologies to migrate their workloads from on-prem into OVH Cloud. For more information, please check out the OVH Cloud website for all of your different packages that can help you get into the public cloud.